When I first came to Kaiserslautern, I didn't know it, but I learned to love it very quickly. It's uh, the people, of course, the environment, the connections to the center of, of Germany, but at the same time to France, to Belgium, but also the surrounding nature. It's just beautiful. Lots of forests, good for cycling, hiking. We are at the campus of the University of Kaiserslautern. It's a campus university with a strong focus on engineering and natural sciences. The physics department has about 20 research teams, very motivated people, traditionally strong in optical sciences and laser sciences, laser physics. We have undergone some strategic hiring processes to focus more and more on quantum physics with these optical technologies. Magnons, ultra-fast physics, ultra-cold gases, uh, photonics, these kind of things. I'm interested in quantum systems um, of many particles which strongly interact with each other. And so because of these strong interactions, they lead to strong correlations, we um, find um, unusual physics. And this is a challenge on its own to investigate just such systems. And on top of that, I'm interested if these systems are not in thermal equilibrium. In the field of cold gases, the link between theory and experiment is, is extremely tight. And uh, we're very happy that we have so many colleagues in theory that are interested in what we see experimentally. And uh, this can go from the very foundations of quantum physics to applied quantum physics and in th applied theory where uh, maybe only numerical simulations can tell us what's going on in our experiments. Photonics, blandly speaking, is the science of useful light. So backbone of internet is running on optical fibers. Just main perception of photonics, that's the university side. We look at the fundamentals of photonics, so creation of new materials to steer and to control light. To use light as a tool, for example, we create three-dimensional printers to create nanostructures and microstructures which directly interact with the wavelengths of light so that we can control and steer these processes. Magnonics is a fairly new field which is emerging very rapidly. If you go to the major conferences, you always have sessions every day about the field of magnonics. Many groups are joining. We were very lucky to be in this field right from the beginning. And we were lucky because we have a special technique how to measure this. This is called Brillouin light scattering spectroscopy. This is laser light which we use. The laser light is scattered from these magnons and then we need a fairly complicated technology to detect this scattered light and to infer the magnon properties from this scattered light. And these are the machines which you can see in my laboratory. I'm looking at ultra-fast phenomena. That means um, we are triggering a system with a certain excitation um, out of equilibrium. And it is very interesting to see how different uh, processes uh, bring this system to a certain time development. How a cascade of relaxation um, interacts with each other and uh, drives the system to a new state. So we have uh, different um, experimental groups here in Kaiserslautern and one is looking at collective excitations of spin waves and another one is looking at single spins and how they interact in time. And my research um, gives a theoretical bridge from the more steady state-like uh, magnons to the uh, ultra-fast dynamics of magnetism. Quantum physics is so strange and weird. There's things about it that are just, what the heck? How could we understand that? But actually, after you've been working with it for a while, sometimes you suddenly look at it and go, oh, that makes sense after all. There are a lot of things that are new. The things that interest me most are controlled experiments on interacting systems of particles, where instead of just saying we cool the system down, we talk about moving it to its ground state. And so a lot of things that used to be rather indirectly seen, now we have the chance to see them very directly. So what we are doing is quite special, and we are probably the only ones in the world that are doing this. And we use an approach which you know from solid-state physics, which is scanning electron microscopy. What we are doing is we are using this technique to image gases, ultra-cold quantum gases. The funny thing is that if you do this, you do not only see single atoms moving around, but you can have a look at really the quantum mechanical wave function of those atoms. And that's special and unique. 
The physics department takes part in about five different federally funded research units, which are larger complexes which are funded uh, on this location. For me, what makes Kaiserslautern really great is this unique combination of different facilities we have, strong laser labs, strong ultra-cold uh, atoms research, strong magnonics, photonics, ultra-fast physics, together with the theory. And what really makes a difference is the teams, the people, they really work together, they're all very motivated. And on top of this, this funding makes it all possible for us to do really cutting-edge research here in Kaiserslautern. <music>